guest and friend of the channel, Mr. Greg Dickerson. How are you doing, sir? Doing great, Michael. How are you? I'm doing well. Something I am now quoting almost every day, and I do my best to give you credit for it every time I say it, is good times never last, bad times never last. I think it's fair to say we have entered a bear market, right? The NASDAQ now is officially in a bear market, Russell 2000 bear market. Uh, bear markets likely coming to stocks, cryptos, things of that nature. But as somebody who has routinely reminded us that good times never last and bad times never last, I want to ask you, how do you have the courage? How do you have the fortitude to A, get ready you know, during the good times, which most people just keep buy, buy, buy? Uh, and then how do, you, how do you have the gumption to, to buy when the times are bad? Because that's really when you can make life-changing money is, is buying in a, a bear market or a recession. How do you, how do, you do that? So number one, you know, patience. So you have to be patient. You have to be willing to not do anything. So like a lot of people feel like, man, I got to do a deal. I got to be in the market. I got to do this. You know, that's great when the market's going up. We've talked about buy the dip. You know, that's for bull markets and investors have been conditioned, you know, buy the dip, buy the dip. And, you know, there's that talk is still out there. They're going to buy this dip. And what did I say? Buy the dip, you become the dip. That's what's happened each time. And if you go back and look at bear markets in history, the most recent being, you know, 2008 and 9, you get big rallies, you know, bear market rallies, big bumps, you know, 20, 30, 40%, where a lot of people think, you know, it's over. So they'll, they'll buy that. So, you know, if you're, if you're buying the dip in a bear market, sell the rip. So mm -hmm. you have to be okay with a profit. As a real estate developer, you know, I'm good with a 20, 30% margin. So what I look for is big, you know, sell-offs, you know, where you dump 20, 30%. Mm -hmm. then you see it kind of level off. You can go in there. If we're talking about markets, you can go in there and buy. Mm -hmm. And then if it bounces 20%, I'm fine. Take it. I sell it. Yeah. But for me to expect the same thing we saw, <clears throat> you know, prior to December of 2021 mm -hmm. to happen now without the Fed, you know, pumping money in the market yeah, and lowering interest rates is just, it's just full. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. I think this buy the dip, uh, I love the buy the dip, sell the rip mentality. That is something that, uh, you know, that people need to hear, right? It's never a problem taking a profit, right? You don't go broke taking a profit. Is I don't I don't remember who said that, but someone did. Um, yeah, that's this you know huddle mentality, you know, of yeah. just hey, a dollar cost average, and you know if you dollar cost average all your way down, that doesn't make any sense at all. You dollar cost average on your way up, not on the way down. <clears throat> what you do is you sell out on the way down when you buy back in at the bottom. How do you know when you're in the bottom? When the Fed comes back to the table, and, you know, interest rates start to drop, you know, all of this, the war's over, um, you know, all of these things that we're facing right now, China's back open, pandemic's behind us, it becomes a seasonal thing, mm. you know, now that we're dealing with or however that works, mm -hmm. you know, this is not the same economy it's been for the last two or three years pre-2021. There's a reason the markets are doing what they're doing. Yeah. We're going through a financial reset. I'm not talking about the great reset, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, conspiracy. I'm talking about a reset of globalization, financial markets, asset valuations, back to the norm, right? Real PE ratios, mm -hmm. real earnings projections, you know, things like that. And, you know, the world of tech unicorns is being viewed very differently now because that was free money. You yeah. used to be able to raise money basically for free to go say, well, I'm going to lose money for five years until this thing, you know, blows up. And, mm -hmm. You know, we work, right? Yeah, we, we did $1.9 billion or $1.8 billion, but we lost $1.9 billion. Ah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're growing. <laughs> One day we're going to be profitable, you know? Yeah. That's that funny. type of philosophy doesn't work in, a, in, you know, without the Fed backing you up. Yeah. I hope people heard that one word, right? Everybody, everybody, myself included, sometimes is in a rush especially if you're like me and I've told my channel, right? We, we, we raised dry powder on purpose, right? Thinking what was coming. So, Hey, we look great right now, but I'm not, I'm just like everybody else. I'd love to do a, do a deal right now. But again, to your point, there are so many other negative catalysts. It's like, you just got to be patient. I think that word that you used is, you know, you should tattoo it on your arm or something. Cause um, don't rush. Yeah. You have to be patient and realistic. And optimi optimistic, right? I'm always yeah. looking for opportunities. I'm always optimistic. And, but what I understand is how to assess risk. So it's always risk reward. So let's just mm. take, you know, <clears throat> stocks, for instance, you know, you see where they were, you see where they're at now, and you see where the run up, you know, to 2021 was. So when you look at what's my potential upside versus what's the potential downside right now, and pretty much every stock, 
Yeah. You know, every crypto, you got more downside potential than you do upside. Agreed. You know, in terms of potential loss versus potential upside. And then, you know, you'll hear the narrative, oh, if you'd have just bought, you know, this stock or this crypto, you know, <clears throat> five years ago and held on, you're totally fine. So buy it now, hold on for five years, it'll be fine. You and I know we've seen the cycles where, you know, if, <laughs> I mean, if you bought in December 2021, there's no guarantee that yeah. you're going to be whole in five years, much less make a profit. Yeah. You know, but, okay. you know, if you bought five years prior to that, sure, you know, because everything went straight up from there. Yeah, I, I think, again, I think I want people to hear this because I am, generally speaking, um, a positive person, right? I'm excited by what's coming. I'm not, I'm not confused. Stagflation sucks. The recession sucks. Bear markets suck. But if you're prepared for them, you know, you, you, you survive. If you get thrown a curveball and you lose your job, you deal with it. But at some point, we're, we're all here to, to make some significant money investments, uh, you know, set our family up for futures. And the best time to do that is in a recession, right? When stuff is discounted, risk is repriced, and you have the courage to execute. Yeah. And, you know, the best example is go back to look at 2000, 2001, you know, dot-com bubble. So, you know, boom, parabolic market run up like we've seen recently, lost, you know, valuations dropped 80, 90%. Mm -hmm. Most of those are back, <clears throat> you know, tenfold, but it took you know, 20 years to get there. Yeah. So, you know, there are opportunities in every market, the most sophisticated, successful, astute investors make money both ways, not just one way. Everybody makes money in a bull market, right? Yeah. That's easy. Making money right now and protecting your wealth right now. That's what's hard because again, people feel like, man, I got to be in the market because that's the two narratives. Buy the dip, you've got to be in the market. This whole inflation narrative, you know, the dollar's devaluing, you're losing money. Yeah. That's what you're hearing coming out of Wall Street now is that, hey, this isn't deflation. This is the dollar devaluing. That's because they want more money to manage for yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So don't be afraid to miss out on an opportunity to protect to the downside because you could be very wrong right now. And until we flip the switch back and get back into an accommodative Fed, mm -hmm. you know, inflation in check, war behind this pandemic behind this, then you can expect, you know, hey, bull market, buy yeah. the dip, things are going to run and rip for a while. But, and I mean, there's still people out there calling for, you know, new market highs right now. And it just, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't get it. There, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And again, uh, just so folks realize the average recession is 17 and a half months. So let's call it 18 between friends. So we're talking, you know, we're talking all of this year and next year, that's it's, it's bear markets suck. But again, they are amazing opportunities. If you're prepared, you take advantage, have the courage, do the work, protect the downside, as Greg said, very well said. So you put a lot of amazing stuff, Greg. Where can people find you? Yeah, gregdickerson.com. Uh, that's where all my social media links are. Um, apologize for my throat, man. I've, I've had a cold and I'm getting kind of scratchy here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, no worries. Thank you very much for everything. Yeah.